Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Crystal Heart. My name is Crystal and I have Mika Money. And today we have a craft thrift haul. Alright, so before we get into the craft thrift haul, y'all don't forget to do what? Like. Like. And to also subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. And also in the description box below, you will see a link so that you can follow me Wait. on all my socials. The bell. Oh, and hit the bell if you want to be notified whenever I post videos and whenever I go live. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. And the lives are fun, so you don't want to miss it. So today we went to the craft thrift, and it's our last time going to the craft thrift. Yeah. Okay, not really. Just for a little while. We just <laughs> we didn't want to clickbait y'all, but <laughs> this will be the last time that we do a haul for a while because we're going out of town. And when I get back, I don't know if I'm gonna have time for the crafter for a while. So it's our last haul for a good little while. Okay, so gonna show you guys what we got. Um, I kind of got some little different. Like I went a whole little different direction with uh fabric things today. So we're gonna get to that. But I'm just pulling from the bag, however it may come. So the first thing that I pulled was this bundle. So I'll go ahead and show y'all what's in the bundle. This was a $2.50 bundle because it's a short. They're, the pieces are cut short. They're fat but short. So if anybody is here and has never heard, seen any of my craft thrift videos, it's basically going to the Creative Reuse Center where they sell uh, reuse, uh, secondhand, arts, crafts, uh, all kind of stuff. But they sell a whole lot of fabric cuts for pretty cheap and really nice um, fabrics that are good quality brands that we've heard before. So let's just go through. As y'all know, if y'all see something that I don't know the name of the collection, y'all can put timestamp it and put it in the description box. So we have this floral. We have a solid blue, a brown. I'm going to try to show y'all the best way I can. Oh, I have this backwards, y'all. Hold on. Let me flip it over. Okay. Okay. It's just all kind of crazy ways in the bundle. This is the same floral. You getting everything together? Yeah. We're okay. all about stuff together. Okay. We have this blue. I feel like I've seen it before, but I don't know what collection it comes from. This is what the brown looked like. And then this blue. All right, so the battery on the camera died, so we had to go get a little bit of charge before we come back. So I was somewhere in the middle of this, showing blue. We have that one. So this is Lori Holt being my bonnet. We have a white with a blue polka dot. Whatever this little turquoise is, turquoise. More yeah. of the Lori Holt being the bonnet. We have some of my Nantucket Summer, which you all know that caught my eye. Two pieces of that. Uh, we have this uh, Lori Holt, right? I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this fabric says Del Boca Vista. Greetings from Del Boca Vista. It's pretty, but um, I don't know what I would do with that. This one, some solids, another blue solid, this plaid, this blue, the X's. If y'all hear a whole lot of noise in the background, Cameron is up there into something and I don't know what she's doing. She's still doing the crayons. Okay. We have this one. I get a lot of this. I see a lot of this at the craft thrift. Uh, some flamingos, random. That. Um, some little cute dogs. Some Frenchies and. Dogs? Yeah, look. A little pug, look like. A little poodle. I want a pug when we, grow up, when we get a dog. When we get a new house and we get a dog. Okay. We have this. That's pretty. Yep. These butterflies, butterflies are cute. Just a random piece of like chambray almost. My favorite. Uh, these animal, are backwards. My favorite wild animal is butterflies. Really? Yeah. This blue. 
some blue gingham and it's a lot of little pieces in here some more blue gingham but my favorite um and i think that's it for this bundle okay so next thing that i pulled out of the bag is some 108 cut so there you'll get 108 cuts but they're skinny too skinny to be a whole wide back um for back of a quilt so they price them really cheap so i have this one which is an eighth of a yard price at 50 cents but because it's 108 inches wide that ends up being quite a bit of fabric so that's why i like getting the white the wide backs i have this one which is also an uh, eighth yard Oop. and it was 50 cents as well i love this fabric um what collection is this this is moda starlight gatherings by primitive gardens for moda then i always get this one when i pick it up and it is a quarter yard for a dollar okay the next one i got is three-fourths yard for three dollars and this is i think this is is this bonnie and camille i think this is bonnie and camille no this is Lori holt okay this is Lori holt um so this is a good big chunk i think i got two pieces like this but i don't know where the other piece is i gotta grab some more stuff like this bag Yes, I got another three, four yards of it. So, two big chunks, and it was $3 for this. Then I got this for 108. I didn't take it out the roll, but this is Camille uh, Dwell, I believe. And it was an eighth of a yard for 50 cents. Y'all know I love my Dwell and my Nantucket Summer. So, I got that. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I had to literally go charge the camera for a longer period of time because it died again. So now we good. I think we good. We are good. Alright, so I pulled another bundle out and we're going to go through this one. This bundle cost, this is a $2.50 bundle because the strips are skinny. They're long but skinny. Okay, I wish I knew some of the names of these. Okay, let's start I from this side. I wish I knew. I wish you. Okay. So we have this red floral, and I think it may say in the selvage. Is it something beauty by Robin Pandolf Saxty from May? Something, something beauty. I think is it American Beauty? I don't know, but I got a few strips of this. American Beauty, right? Okay, I have the blue. I have this tan, which I bought a bundle of only this fabric because I figured it would be good for a background fabric. And more of the red. Okay. I don't, why did I buy this? I do like this fabric, but I don't know why I bought this bundle. It's not giving me anything special. Uh, a little Tula. Um, this blue this chocolate covered something the silver says I don't know um, we have this one we have a, a black and white it's a it's a flannel this blue then this one which has like a bunt cake on it it's a Santa a, a Christmas this recipe it's a Christmas fabric uh, what else this, which I'm pretty sure is Lori Holt, Riley Blake. This one, which is, what is this? Is it Coriola? I don't know. I know it from somewhere. And then a piece of Halloween fabric. This floral. This floral is cute. It's At Home by Bonnie and Camille. I should have known. I love all Bonnie and Camille for some reason. Their aesthetic is just what I go for. And then another little bit of Tula. 
All right, so that's that bundle. Oh, this bundle. Oh, what fell? Green bundle. Oh, yeah, it was green. I don't know where I was going with the green because, and that's Cameron. She decided to join us. Um, I don't know where I was going with the green. I'm usually not a big green person, but I pick green. I don't see a price on this one, but I'm pretty sure it was five dollars. You right touch here. It's three. Oh, three dollars. Okay, that's probably why I got you touched my iron and you made it come on. Stay away from there because it's going to get hot. Okay. All right, so we start off with some green batiks. And I'm not a huge batik person at all. Oh. Uh, a little green grunge. This uh, has some writing on it. What does it say? What do you do? Thou and thou that? only. Treat is thy faith kindness. I don't know. What do you do with that type of fabric? What type of fabric? Like when it's this skinny. You make something. You use it in a pattern or you use it for strips. Mm. More batik. Um, this one, not sure what collection this comes from. It looks familiar, but I'm not quite sure. A little green, just regular green. We have this bubble one. A solid. This one. I don't know where this comes from. It looks familiar. And then a brighter green, another solid. That one kind of felt like art gallery. A batik, more batik, a solid. Oh, this one is cute. Uh, I don't know the collection for this, but it's cute. This is a uh, like a light lime green batik. This kind of looks like a batik, but it's not. Um, what is this? I don't know. It doesn't say, but more of it. Batik, a green plaid by Robert Kaufman. A polka dot. Whoa. Uh, oh, this is Tiny Dots. So this is, um, Tula. Timer going on. All right, That's Lori timer. Holt. <coughs> solid. We have this polka dot. Somebody told me what the collection this came from, and I don't remember, because I do like it. Sorry for all the background noise. Kamani is all over the place back here for some reason. <laughs> I was trying to close the door, because Sissy left. This screen... All right, this little floral. What is this one? That's so cute. It that's has like little some, animals. That's like something that cute you can make like that's a baby, baby fabric. Yeah. Kinda. All right, so that's that bundle. Let's see what's next. I did, did you all. Do this one? Yeah, I did all those. Okay. Give me the bundle in there. Oh, this. Is all right, the last and this bundle. is the last bundle. Then I have some stuff to show y'all that I got that I usually never get. So I'll show y'all that in a minute. So this oh. this bundle was two dollars and fifty cents so i guess i didn't get any five dollar bundles they were all on the cheaper side so we have a white on white little white dots this little tan i don't know why did i get this why did this you brown that? okay uh a gray <gasps> that's actually really pretty a blue batik a blue batik uh it's like a christmas batik yeah what is this? Some solids, a white and a blue gray. Oh, that's actually then we have um this stitched Lori Holt. Let me see it. That's cute too. You like that one? Mm -hmm. Alright, we have some of this. I have no clue what this is. It's not a batik, but kinda of looked done. That one is not. cute too. Yeah, this solid. I do like this color. You love that color. Yes. Uh this I think it's Tula. I'm pretty sure it is, but yeah, look it. the uh the skunk. Yeah. It is Tula? Yeah, Tula Pink. Tula Tula. And Remember then the I don't know what this is. It has like little dress make dress forms on it. A, a green. Uh some this. type of like it says information oh for bearers of passports. A solid. That's like a baby blue. Yeah. 
Uh, this is Art Gallery Fabrics. That one's yeah. a peachy. <gasps> you know I like that. <laughs> a blue. This one was kind of like all over the place. Uh, this one. What is this? I don't know, but it's cute. A batik. Then we got a a black gingham. Why is it called a gingham? That's the name of like the plaid looking. The rest is all I think. Repeats. Yeah, black, white. I think that's it for this one. I just didn't split it in half. All right, so that's the last bundle I got. What else do I have in this bag, book? Did you show them? Oh, no, I'm coming with that. Okay. Look what I found, y'all. Triangles on a roll. So this is my second roll of triangles on a roll. This is the six inch uh, finish blocks for two dollars. I paid two dollars for this, and I know that Mary had wanted to send me some triangles on a roll, but I really don't remember. Um, I don't remember the last name or the the screen name for mary so mary you asked me to get back with you when i had my address my p.o box but um i didn't because it was on a live so i couldn't go back to it so if you're watching this mary my p.o box is in the description box sorry okay Okay. What else do we have? Okay, so y'all at the craft thrift one thing that they sell is um like fabric sample packs so like the upholstery fabric type stuff that like if you go to to get your sofa upholstered or something and there will be a sample book for you to look through the fabrics they sell those books somebody donates those I guess some company donates those I'm not quite sure but they sell those books and I have bought one before that was actually quilting cotton book but usually it's like thick like carpety like fabric so I don't really worry about it well I seen a video by uh, I cannot remember her name I'll put it right here the name of this channel uh, she makes uh, videos I don't remember where she's from I think she's in Canada her videos she reminds me of um, mostly quilts of that channel um, of Nora from mostly quilts but they kind of do their own thing. They don't really follow specific patterns a lot. But anyway, she was working with fabric book sample books. And I know that they sell them at the craft thrift. I just never really bother with them. Well, it kind of made me want to go check them out. So today I went to check them out. And it worked some. out. So the big, huge books, where is it? Are 50 cents, y'all. And I guess for, for a lot, most people, it's not worth the trouble. But I got this huge fabric sample book for 50 cents. Most of them are not this big. They're usually a little smaller, but they still have a lot of fabric in them. Yeah. So I'm going to try to flip through quickly and show y'all, but it is super heavy and <laughs> it's hard to hold. So on the front is this vinyl, which when I felt this vinyl, I was like, this is the perfect vinyl to do like a, um, a project bag front end. So I can use the vinyl. And then this, it's like upholstery fabric, but, um, I really like that fabric. but my, uh, idea for this fabric is to make, um, she also, the same lady also had a video where she made like a poof. She was trying to do it for a footstool, but I want to make one that the kids can sit on and it's like, you know a huge cube and you just stuff all your extra batting extra scraps in there and I thought this would be like so we can sit perfect on for that yeah you can sit on it so here are some of the fabrics um <gasps> this one's cute and then as you can see it still has all the paper and everything and you have to take the paper off the back of the fabrics um I'm gonna aim the camera down so that I don't have to hold the book up and it could just rest on me good boogie okay all right so this is the best we're going to get. But <laughs> that was you have to take the back. You have to take the back of the fabrics off. I'm sorry. The back paper on the fabrics off. So you have to soak them off or wet them and get it off. Because it's, it's like glued on there. But I mean if you're willing to take the time for 50 cents. I mean. So as all of these. These are like. I'm going through quickly because it's the same. 
Wait, it's this one. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter. It's the same prints, just different colors. So I'm going through quickly. But yeah, it's hard. There's red versions. We skipped another one. It's okay. It's okay. Another bicycle one. I can't hold this up to show every single one. Oh, you're. And then this colorway was like my favorite. This again. Yeah, that was beautiful. It is. And I think okay. that one is the last one. So all of this fabric. Oh goodness, it's super heavy. For. 50 cents. Why is it so heavy? Just for some fabric. Because the book is heavy. Okay. <laughs> Lift y'all back up. Oh, Lord. Okay, y'all. So, all I have for 50 cents. So, they have the books, but then they also have these bins of fabric samples. And it's pretty much the same thing, but just not in books. And they're each 25 cents, which kind of is a lot when you get a whole book of it for 50 cents mm -hmm. but if you fill a gallon size ziploc bag you pay only a dollar so you can stuff as much as you want in those bags for one dollar or they have shopping bags that you can stuff as much as you want in the shopping bags for five dollars so my thing was i was just gonna stuff one bag and pay a dollar but i ended up stuffing two bags because i couldn't stop so i have one bag here and then I have another bag, so I'll show y'all these. So this one, I just thought the colors were so pretty. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, that yeah. is pretty. And now this is like um, outdoor fabric, upholstery fabric. It's not cool and cotton, but this one is kind of soft enough where you could use it in like a quilt type situation. It's kind of I'm going to put y'all down a little bit more because, I don't know, I messed something up. All right, and then these, some of them are smaller, but like I said, I stuffed it. This is a, this whole bag was a dollar. So I have this one, and then you can make project bags out of these. These would make really good pencil bags. Okay, this one, some of these just really caught my eye too, because I'm thinking about these poofs that I want to make, and I'm thinking about what will match my living room decor which is more I think my living this one will match more you think so my living room is like a very um na like natural. natural colors like greens and grays grays and blues like it's any color and in. we're losing our sunlight but I'm trying to show you as fast as possible the sun is going behind the, the building. buildings this one is like a reddish, uh, pinkish flowers. And then that's all that was in the first bag. No. There was one more little piece. I have no clue why I bought this little piece, but whatever. It was cute. That was supposed to be in the not coming to us home bin. All right. And this was in the second Ziploc bag. So a lot of these are repeats, but different colors. And... I'm just tossing them to the side so y'all can see them all the kids were calling these the donuts they're men dollars they are donuts but i have a lot in uh the donut those are donuts oh this one was like a, a cute like alcohol ink tie-dye looking indigo that situation is cute. Like this somebody a drink and then like made it into a <laughs> this one was really pretty and then big donut print yeah it is a big donut so they all came from the same collection i'm guessing oh wow it says on the back that this if if whoever was to choose this fabric a yard is 147 dollars and 50 cents that's crazy from Alex Conroy Textiles. That is crazy. That's a lot of money. Um, so that's that. And I guess it could be enough to cover like a seat cushion, a small seat cushion. Yeah. And then some of the fabric books were Ralph Lauren. I didn't like the fabrics in those books. So I didn't bother with them, but that and then this one was so cute i think what i'm gonna do with this one is get some tea towels 
I think the pink one is better. Make than some the tea one. towels uh out of this. Get some terry cloth fabric. Make tea towels because um next time I decorate my kitchen, everything is gonna be like the, the blue, the indigo, white. I have bought all the things to go with this. My husband bought me some for Christmas two years ago, and I still I haven't used the, them. I think the pink one is better than the blue one. Well, this is going to match the kitchen stuff. I know. All right, so that's all I got uh, for that. And I think the last things that I got were some crochet thread, which is what I use for big stitch quilting. And these were 50 cents um, a piece. So I have a bin of all my quilting um, crochet thread. So I just put it in there. And as you can see, this one was $2.99 regular price. So 50 cents for one is a good price. Okay, so now we're going to move into Kamani showing you what she got. Hopefully she's ready to go. We can move kind of quickly because I took up all the time. All right, so what you have first? I have some nail polishes. Okay, go grab what's next while I kind of show the nail polishes. So she has an obsession with buying these crusty, dusty nail polishes. <laughs> <laughs> they are raggedy and they really should not go on her fingers. They should really be used for only art purposes, but she buys them and never uses them. So what does it matter? They're 25 cents a piece. So she paid a dollar for these four nail polishes. Look, wait, wait. Um, Look what it does. Okay, I have no clue why she wanted a ruler when we have a because we have a whole lot of rulers in the house. Because I need. One. I got a ruler, but like she that, wanted a ruler purple to do my bullet journaling, and she was like, "Where did you get this that?" Okay, so she wanted to be like sissy. No. I, All right, I, so Missy, this. fat quarters are seventy five cents. Missy May was on a budget today. She didn't have money for of her own today, so mommy was funding this. So she picked out a whole bunch of fat quarters. I told her to narrow it oh, down. Three? That was three too many. She had to narrow it down. And this is the one that she picked. I think it's a Christmas one. Silver Sleigh Bells is is the song. But the music notes are cute. Yeah, Go get, I could put it on the back of my it doesn't quilt. have to be Christmas. Yeah, everything is for the back of her quilt that Oh, wait, I'm going to show this one first because this okay. one is... Okay, and the scrap packs that are a dollar, y'all know Missy May loves the scrap packs. So, show them your scrap packs. This one is aesthetic. This, oh, that is pretty. It so, it's like a sage front. green and then a coral stripe. I think, is this Lori Holt? I think so. And then this swirly dupe. It's aesthetic. And, and then another one like this on the back. That was a good little bundle. I like this one too. Okay, y'all know my disdain for brown fabric, but she wanted brown fabric and it's it's not about what I like. You like brown fabric? I want to do this one because it matched my nails. Okay, so we Girl, have no. some brown marble right here, what it looks like. Some, what do you call this? Gingham? No, <laughs> plaid. Plaid. We have some brown plaid. It's very pretty. Some dark brown plain some um flowers on a brown background and then what is that called i don't know just, <laughs> just some flowers okay and these are the last thing okay and last thing I didn't get she decided stuff. she needed markers well when we get to the paint counter markers. the paint markers are 50 cents a piece she had like 10 of them i said no 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 we're not buying that many paint markers so she narrowed it down to four. You thought these, the um, the gel p pins were with those. This is a fabric marker. So you got charged 50 cents for the fabric marker. Okay, so keep that for when you're working. So she, one of these is a fabric marker, a yellow fabric marker. She has a blue paint pen, a green chalk marker, and a it's green- a chalk marker. It is a chalk marker, bistro chalk marker. And a green glitter pen, glitter marker. Then I got- some pencils just in case and my pens. other one these are 10 cents a piece so she grabbed some pencils and pens gel pens and things of that nature i have no clue why she gravitates to buying all these pencils and pens just in case it's a slight addiction i know i love pens too but i mean yeah 
<laughs> All right, so is that everything? Yep. Cameron had her own little bag, but she's not interested in showing on the video what she bought. I could tell you. I got um, a bag of crayons, a box of crayons, a ruler like hers. I got a refill for the mechanical pins and what else? And a notebook. Oh, yeah, and a notebook. Oh, and crayons. Did he say she that said already? crayons okay so that's everything that we got the craft thrift um we will not be going to craft thrift for a while so you won't see any haul videos for a good little while and that's about it if you like this video hit the thumbs up if you aren't subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell button follow us on and all our like. socials like um also join the facebook group if you're not in the facebook group all of that will be down below and i'll see you guys next time Goodbye. bye